Hey everybody, it's the Opinion Atheist, and today I'm coming at you with some bullshit. You ever heard of that conventional wisdom where people just kind of happen to believe shit for really no fucking reason? And there's one story that I've, I've heard a few times, and the more I hear it, the more it pisses me off. It's that bees defy physics when they fly. Hey, have you heard that bees defy the laws of physics when they fly? Right, so, how do they fly? Bro, like, nobody knows, like, scientists have not been able to figure it out, like, fucking ever, it's a mystery. You realize what you're saying is stupid, right? Like, how did, how did you, how did you come across this knowledge? Dude, it's like all over Facebook, I swear. That is, that is so stupid, that it makes me sad. Ah. Yeah. Apparently that little bastard right there is a magician. Yeah, conversations like that really happen. And the main reason is because people refuse to fact check. They see something on Facebook, they see something on any YouTube video, they see it on the media, whatever, and they're just like, oh, face value, mm, I'll take that. Instead of doing 10 minutes, 10 minutes of Google research. And I've heard this story so many damn times, I'm like, you know what, I don't know how bees fucking fly, but I'm pretty sure since they can fly, they're not breaking any fucking physical laws. So, I decided to look it up. I found some pretty interesting shit, actually. So the story goes that around 80 years ago, there were some French scientists talking about flight and how do bees fly. And this, you know, physicist did some calculations and he said, holy shit, bees are magicians, they can fly, the math doesn't add up. And then, you know, that kind of created an effect where people just kept believing it because a physicist said it, even though nobody decided to check him. One of the main reasons they and most people to this day still come to that conclusion is because they're confusing the way that bees fly with the way that planes fly. They're, they're confusing how fluid dynamics work over different bodies. So me, being an analytical asshole, decided to brush up on my physics from fucking middle school and be like, well, how the fuck do planes fly? And if you go into Google and type in, how do planes fly, you come up with something like this. So since both liquids and gases are considered fluids, they act in a certain way that we can measure. When a plane is flying, there are four different forces acting on it. You have lift, thrust, weight, and drag. Weight also can be the force of gravity. Now looking at the graphic, you can see there's almost a grid placed over this. You have thrust and lift up on the you know negative top quadrant of this graph you have drag and weight that kind of equate to the to the positive parts in order for the thrust and the lift to overcome the drag and the weight they have to gain greater negative values and this is kind of how they do that so in order for the plane itself to overcome the force of gravity it has to generate enough lift and able to start that process it has to create enough thrust to overcome the drag that's why you see planes made such ways. They have the airfoils on the wings, they have the stabilizer fins, they have the streamlined noses. That helps reduce on the drag. It's also why planes lift their landing gears, just reduce as much surface area as you can so the fluid can slide across. Now, once the drag has at least been overcome in some way to go fast enough, you see on the airfoil that there is fluid acting on a direct path on it. Now what happens is the fluid, that, the air that goes under the wing is moving at a constant path, you know, the path of least resistance. When it comes upon the curve, it creates a narrower path and therefore streamlines how the air is going, it streamlines the particles. They, in turn, want to go faster through the streamlined path, creates a low pressure area. So the low pressure is being acted on by the higher pressure under the wing and therefore generates lift. There has to be a significant, you know, speed, that a certain plane or a certain vehicle has to be going to create this lift, you know, so they can overcome the drag. So one of the things that confused these people about how the bees flew was, well, look at that guy. He's a little plump, furry, you know, and fur creates drag. It just, how the fuck can it work, right? They can't fly like planes, and that's because they don't fly like planes. Now in probably the simplest way that I can both explain and give this answer. When a bee flies, it flaps its wings between 200 and 240 times a second. That is very short wing strokes that are less than 90 degree angles. 
Now, when it does this, it creates an extremely low pressure vortex. It's basically creating little mini hurricanes with its wings. And as we saw with how the plane flies, the high pressure will act on the low pressure, pushing it up. So if you really want to get a little bit deeper in how that high pressure, low pressure stuff works, it's basically Newton's third law of motion. And it says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So at this point, since the low pressure isn't creating as much pressure, which equals force over distance, or if you're being given pick here, force over unit of area, the low pressure is unable to counteract the force that the high pressure is pushing up on. And since the bee's wings are attached tightly to its body, boom, you got lift. That's how bees fucking fly. We know this now. There never needs to be one of those conversations again. You know how long it took me to do this research? Like maybe 30 minutes, but I went in depth. I downloaded pictures for you guys. I'm going to have links in the description. So, I mean, next time someone tries to come at you with some like, well, I heard on Facebook, you know, just remember what they said. Do like 10 minutes of fucking research and just have that in your mind. It's really not that, it's not that hard. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I know I had a hell of a lot of fun making it. You know, brushing back up on some, some stuff I learned a long time ago. Now, one of the things you learn besides bees flying is when you were in school and they told you that the air tried to catch up with the air under the wing. Hey, it's bullshit. You learned something new today. You know, don't stop, don't stop learning until the day you die. Anyways, I'm the Opinion Atheist. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Remember, reason beats bullshit every time.